So it's been a while since I shot that last video and a lot has happened um, both in the van and not in the van. So right now I am in Melbourne where my parents live, where my brother lives, where I live at the moment. Um, and we are currently in stage for lockdown which means complete isolation I'm only allowed to leave one hour a day for shopping or one hour a day for exercise um, which isn't ideal when I want to go on tested trips so you could probably imagine that with everything going on I didn't get to go on the Easter trip like we usually do every year but uh, what I did do before lockdowns happened um, is I went on a very short trip with a couple of friends just to test out what I liked and what I didn't like um, about the van uh, and that gave me an idea of what I need to change, what I need to fix uh, and what I still need to do. But we did kind of like a very quick put things together before that trip um, which isn't ideal but some of the things that we've done on the van for that particular trip actually are probably going to end up being permanent. So, also a good thing. So, there's, there's pros and cons to every situation. So, pro, I'm going to show you guys a van update tour. And you guys can have a look for yourself what we've done. And I know that there's a couple of you out there who are really anxious to see what I've been doing because it's been so long since that last video. Um, so we're just gonna, yeah, let's get straight into it, shall we? So Dad reckons we should be getting a sponsorship deal with Ryobi. Look at all that Ryobi stuff. All cleaned, ready to go to the next project. Yeah. We're still adding more things to this table. I've got to start up my collection for on the road, don't I, Dad? Yeah. And now we have all of the Ryobi tools and gadgets and gizmos. All set up on here. But knowing Dad, we're still going to get some more to add to his collection. So first off, you'll notice that this monstrosity is in here now, <laughs> um, which is awesome it does take up a lot of room and like we had predicted we didn't we weren't able to put the slide out pantry like right here but we have made an alternative so that's always fun so I'm trying to figure out this new tripod business <laughs> not sure how it's going because I don't have like a um, monitor screen type thing which is not fun <laughs> but I can show you guys what we've got here so down here we can you can see I've got my loo and my bins um, and this is the shower so um, we've got this patch up here and all of the shower bits and bods if you will um, which is fun love it uh, moving on because showers are not really that entertaining. Um, uh, I'm back to the fridge, which you guys saw in the last video. So what you didn't see in the last video is this shelf up here. Um, so as you can see, I've already started to utilize it with um, pancake mix 
tomato sauce and uh, olive oil and some beans and propane and all kinds of things that you could put in a pantry but when you don't have a pantry I mean that's where it goes um, and then behind that I've got like pots and pans and stuff so but to be able to get to the pots and pans I have to move everything out so this is gonna get reorganized at a later date um, I got a feeling that it's just gonna be either just pots and pans or just pantry space or maybe like plates and bowls and stuff might be a good thing to put up there but um, it's definitely gonna change <laughs> it's not it's not staying like that um, uh, yeah and do you guys like my little Iron Man magnet I've got on my fridge at the moment and my fridge is full now too so um, lots of food in there and you'll notice I've got some food in here as well and the all-important Haagen-Dazs cookie dough, cookie dough ice cream because um, you know what else do you put in your freezer other than ice cream and I've got like dog loaf stuff in there. Um, moving on. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you guys. Back here, I also, I'm not sure you guys can see it because it's a bit dark now. Um, I also am going to put my diesel heater just down in here, which is a thing. Sorry if you guys heard that really loud noise. That was Mally's lead, which was not doing fun. Things. I just realised that this is not focused at all. So you guys are looking at like a non-focused thing. Okay. And there's Melly. Melly is also out of focus. Oh my god, this is this is not going well for me today. This is why I don't film. Because I've got no idea what I'm doing. Okay. I'm gonna not be in the picture anymore because it's just not fun. Anyway, I was gonna take some drone footage, but then I realized that um, A, it was getting dark, and B, my remote control was not charged. Which is lots of fun! We love it! Um, and just yesterday, I did some grouting on my tiles, which is amazing. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It looks awesome. <laughs> Um, and I also finished off these shelves, which I think's not in the other video. Um, and I got some burrito mix, because you know what else. What are you whining for? Do you want to get up? Hop up then. Go on. Up you go. Up you go. Why have you just gone halfway? Don't be lazy. <laughs> yes, it's the camera melly. If you guys want more Mally content, let me know and I will provide. Because he's the cutest boy in the world. No one will tell me any different. Um, Mally, hang on, I'm just gonna pop you guys here for a second and I'm gonna let Mally get up. And, wow. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the pantry. It used to be where I just said the diesel heater's gonna go, but I had to move it because obviously the diesel heater's gonna go there. Um, but this pantry will eventually go here, but I have to build out a step all through here, um, which will help Mally get up onto the bed, but it's also going to be a storage thing for my shoes, um, and maybe some bedding as well, depending on what I can fit in there. That's basically what's going to happen there, in that space. It's just going to be the pantry, and there might be like a little drawer above the pantry that I can just pull out that's underneath here, just so that's not wasted space, because otherwise, like, there's really nothing that goes there. I want to have like a little platform or a hanger on that section of my bed um, just because I want somewhere to put my phone of a night. As you can see we've also updated the speaker situation. So we popped the speakers in and they look amazing. Um, and as you can see my wardrobe section has got a little update with this wood here. It's actually really strong, despite there not being that many brads in there. Um, but yeah, and the top one got like a smaller one as well, so up here I can put like underwear and other things that can go there. But as you can see, I got these that fit perfectly along here, which is amazing. Um, and it's really not looking cute at the moment because I've just kind of chucked my shoes up there because like I don't have a place for my shoes right now. 
Um, also, with these ones, you'll notice I have also popped some things in my cute little jars. I love them. As you can see, I've got some um, tea, sugar, uh, Milo, some Oreos, um, Monte Carlo biscuits, um, dog food, and some tea bags. I don't use the tea bags that often though. I prefer to use my actual tea set. I haven't used the teapot in a while, but I like to use the tea itself. I did use the tea bags on my tester trip though because I didn't want to dirty that just yet because I didn't have a very good place to wash dishes because I don't have water at the moment, as you can see, because my pump is disconnected. And to turn on the pump, I use one of these switches. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's either the one closest to me or the one next to the lights. I think it's the one closest to me. We also have this part, which is completely new. You guys haven't seen this one yet. Um, it's a little, it's kind of like a toiletry cabinet. Well, this is where I'm going to put my toiletries. So I've got some bamboo toilet paper, which I got before the toilet papers all run out in the stores. And I have a brush that needs cleaning. <laughs> um, and yeah, you can also see we mounted this little panel, um, which was in the last video. And we also mounted a couple of PowerPoints here, um, which I only am able to use when we're plugged in. Um, because I don't actually have an inverter that's hooked up to my battery. The inverter that I have is like a little small one that just kind of plugs into a cigarette lighter socket. Um, which is not ideal. I think if I could change anything about the electrical system it would be that. I would have an inverter hooked into my batteries but it's just really expensive and I don't have the patience right now <laughs> to fix that so that's that's a job for later I don't think there's really much more to show you that's changed I think I basically covered everything you can see the roof is still like really warped so I am gonna replace the roofing um, because I want to fix the insulation underneath it that's warping it but I also want to have like a slightly thicker piece of this ply and I'm going to cover it with wallpaper just because I think that'll look prettier and my hair won't get caught on the screws anymore because that's like a real problem. Hair gets caught on screws apparently. Who would have thunk it? I'm still going to put my stove and oven combination here like I said I was going to do. Um, and there's just there's a whole there's a whole lot of stuff that still needs to be done like the roof of the shower is not finished you can see and the roof up here isn't done yet either I'm not sure you guys can see it very well because I don't have any lighting over there because the roof's not done <laughs> there's just yeah there's a lot of things that have to happen um, so as you can see this is just sitting here not looking cute and that'll go here and then here I'm gonna make it's gonna be a slide out table that's gonna slide out that way so I have a table at the back of the van, but that box that holds the table will keep coming, like I said, until here, which I'll use for shoe storage. And then above that box, I'm going to have two crates, like really, really long crates that I can access from both inside the van and outside the van. And then I'm going to build the rest of this out so I can store like a mini generator, um, so I can use my sockets when I want to. Um, which is like really handy. Generators. So good. Um, and uh, I've still got my barbecue in there which is from my test trip. And I would like to be able to store that as well. Because it was really handy on the trip. Um, and so yeah, I've still got my my chair, my camp chairs. Um, and my guitar is going to go under there as well. Ukulele. I'm still kind of figuring out where to put that. <laughs> um... For the last trip, it was hanging on the back of my chair, which was fine. It just kind of got in the way, and it spooked Mally a little bit when we were on the road. So, it's not ideal. But, yeah. Um, also, the grouting I mentioned earlier. I'm just going to show you guys. 
again. It's here. I did that all by myself. Like, this whole tiling job, I did by myself. Like, I glued all the tiles to the wall. I grouted all the tiles. I cut the tile. I didn't cut the tiles. My dad cut the tiles because he has like a special tile cutting machine thing that I don't know how to use. Um, but like these tiles that were on like a on a strip, the mini ones, I cut those. Sort of. Like I cut the, the strip part, not the actual tile. Um, I did actually use the toilet on the tester trip too, which was pretty interesting. Um, emptying it was a pain in the ass and took a lot of time, so I think I need to find a, a more efficient way of emptying it. Yeah, you guys can just sit there now. So I need to find a more efficient way of emptying it, but, um, yeah, the last trip all I did was dig a hole and, like, rinse it. I didn't even rinse it, like, I just poured it out. Oh, no, I did rinse it. <laughs> I poured it out and then I, like, used, like, the, my leftover water that I had from the trip and, like, swirled it around and then poured it into the hole and then I filled up the hole. But, like, I feel like there's better ways to do it. Um, looking back now, I kind of wish I just went bush on that trip because that was, like, a solid half an hour worth of emptying a toilet. And it's just, it's not ideal. <laughs> it's not ideal to spend half an hour emptying a toilet. I did do some window coverings. They do, I think, need some more magnets because they fall down quite a lot, those ones there. Um, but we don't have any covering there at the moment, so I've just got my blanket. Um, and we do have this covering up here, which we've literally just, like, nailed to the roof. Because, yeah, we just had to kind of quickly do it, like I said. It was a very last minute job. The other thing that's not all that great about here is with this panel, when you're sleeping and all the lights are off, there's just this blue glow and it keeps you up so I maybe might want to do like a little curtain or something that I can like flip over there or something um which would be pretty cool I think all right guys so that's the end of my van tour today um as you can see it's not a complete van yet but it is more than what we had which is amazing and I was able to stay in it for a few days which was awesome I had so much fun shout out to all the people I met on that trip we did on this tester trip take some Polaroids for our very first Polaroids to go on the fridge um, and I'm hoping that I can have a complete fridge of Polaroids by the time I'm done traveling which I think will be pretty achievable <laughs> so first one we took was one just of my dad I'm not sure if it's gonna focus on it probably not but um, it's just of my dad just standing in my doorway because um, he came down for a visit and to fix my um, <laughs> to fix my windscreen wipers because there was like a huge storm when I was driving up there and my windscreen wipers, I kid you not, like, flew over the van, <laughs> like, over the side of the van. And it was stuck there, and the thread that held the windscreen wipers in place was completely gone. Like, the thread was completely stripped, and there was nothing holding the windscreen wiper, wiper in place. Just the driver's seat one. The other one was fine. So my dad had to come and just duct tape it together until we got home, which worked. So that needs to be fixed. But um, the other one we took was of all the peoples that we met on the trip. So um, who's in this photo that I can see? Looks like we've got Jaden, we've got the other Jaden, I think Sam, Haley, and couple of other people that I can't really make out at the moment um, but shout out to all you guys here's some footage from that awesome trip enjoy
hopefully we can go on another camping trip pretty soon I am dying to get out of the house like I am going insane I'm going insane trapped in my house um, but I mean I've got the van to keep me busy at the moment um, like with my grouting went pretty well so maybe I should try to do some other stuff on my own and give it a crack and if it goes wrong then we'll just fix it because um, even when I was grouting I did get a little bit on these shelving shelving things these I did get a little bit on these shelves um, so I do need to sand it back a little bit and I want to put a lacquer on these anyway um, but I need to put another coat of lacquer on this one as well um, on my bench top because I do need to sand these as well because a little bit got on these as well um, and there's a few dents and stuff in there so I think if I sand it back a little bit it should be fine wish me luck guys but this is my van. It's livable. I stayed in it the other night to get out of the house. Just literally in the backyard. Like, I didn't move it anywhere. Um, and I really enjoyed that. Melly stayed out here with me. Um, he was fine. He just slept on the bed with me. As you can see, he's more than capable of getting up there on his own. He just gets scared about it for no reason. But I am going to add a step like I said, to help him get up. Sorry, I have like a really weird thing in my throat right now. Um, I, I'm going to make a step for him to be able to get up. Um, yeah. And um, I'm sorry this video took so long. It, um, it's just been, it's been a wild ride, this coronavirus thing. And to be honest, my mental health has not been perfect being at home all the time and not seeing all these beautiful places um, so that's probably one reason why there hasn't been another video for a while but shout out to Troy for getting me to upload so he can have a look um, I know that he's dying to have a look at the van and um, see what I've done and I'm hoping it's not going to take as long to get the next video up guys but, I mean, I'm not going to make any promises because I started uni again. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for coming and having a look. I appreciate all of you. And, um, yeah, please remember to like, subscribe, and put the bell on. And if you want more Melly content, let me know. If you want more Van content, let me know. Um, I've also started making some face masks, um, under the label of KP Koala Design, and so if you guys want those, uh, check out KP Koala on Facebook, Instagram, or you can just message me on YouTube, um, and I can organise some custom made face masks, $10 each guys, get on it, uh, thanks for coming, I'll see you guys later.